All right, gang, we are going to be working on worksheet 1.4b, page two, measure and classify angles. Uh, we're going to uh, jump down to question 28, working on the starred questions. Let me slide us up here a little bit. The question says, use the given information to find the indicated angle measure. So we need to do a couple things here. We have to find out what X is and then answer the question that's, give, that's asked. For 28, it says, given that NRQ equals 78 degrees, find the measure of angle PRQ. So the first thing we want to do is figure out where is NRQ. So we trace on our diagram, starting at N, going to R, and then going to Q. Everything between those two green lines is 78 degrees. Noticing that we have two parts here, we have this part up here and we have this part down here and they total to 78, we're gonna set up an equation using angle addition. So our angle addition says that 8x plus seven plus four x minus one equals 78 degrees. Or we can do mental math and we can add the x's together first. 8 plus 4 is 12x. Plus 7 minus 1 is plus 6. And that also equals 78. It's really the same thing as what we had. We add the 8 and the 4 to get the 12x. And the 7 and minus 1 to get the 6. Then from there we're going to solve the equation. First thing we're going to do is subtract 6 from both sides. 12x is equal to 72. And then we divide both sides by 12. And we get x equals 6. Now, notice that the question asked us to find the measure of PRQ, not find the measure of x, or the value of x. So again, we go to our picture and we find P, and then we find R, and then we find Q, and it only wants this much of the picture. So we're gonna take our six and plug it into that part. So that makes four times six minus one. Again, we're using this right here, four, six minus one. And that calculation is going to be 24 minus 1, 23 degrees. The measure of angle PRQ equals 23 degrees. That is the answer to the question. Now you're going to go and do the next question. It says given ADC equals 135. 135, find the measure of BDC. Very similar question. I'm gonna have you pause it right there, give that a try, and then we can check our work tomorrow in class. Meanwhile, I'm gonna set up for the bottom of the page. Hold on. All right, we're gonna unpause here, and we're gonna look at this um, next check um, portion here. It says, given that X Z bisects angle W, X, Y. Find the two angle measures not given in the diagram. So the first thing that we need to figure out is what is W, X, Y. And if you notice in the picture, we have W, X, and Y. That is the whole angle. W, X, Y. That is the whole angle, the outside part. W, X, Y. It's the whole angle. And then we see the word bisect right here. And we know that the word bisect means two equal parts. So we know that each of these two parts is equal. This is my bisector. And so I have 39 degrees and I have the whole thing right there. So I want you to apply that for all of those questions. Meanwhile, I'm going to jump down and help you on question 34 here. It says in the diagram, 
BD bisects angle ABC. Find the measure of ABC. So now we have a little bit more of an equation here. Um, ABC, that angle, notice ABC is the whole thing. And it says BD bisects it. BD, this guy right here is the one that cuts it into two equal parts. I know that this side is equal to this side. That means that this equation, 5x plus 2, is equal to 7x minus 6. So there's my equation, 5x plus 2 equals 7x minus 6. I'm going to solve that. And again, I'm going to collect x's on one side, and I like to keep things positive. So this smaller one is the one I'm going to move over by subtracting 5x to both sides. 5x minus 5x makes 0. Bring down the 2. 7x minus 5x is 2x. And then bring down the minus 6. Don't forget about that minus right there. Right there. And so I get minus 6. Then I have to bring the 6 back to the other side. So I will add 6. 2 plus 6 makes 8. Bring down the 2x. And the minus 6 plus 6 makes 0. Last step is to divide by 4 equals x. The question says, find the measure of ABC. If I look back in at the problem, A to B to C is the whole angle, and I know the two parts are equal to each other. So I'm going to plug in the 4 into the part that seems easier to me. And for that, I think the easier part is the 5x plus 2 because everything is a little bit more positive. So I'm going to take this 4 and plug it right in there. I'm going to go 5 times 4 plus 2, which is 22 which makes this angle down here 22. So I know the measure of angle ABC is equal to 44 degrees. And I got that because I did 22 plus 22. All right, I'm gonna pause the video. You're gonna try questions 35 and 36, and we can talk tomorrow in class. Good luck, see ya.